Hi folks, my name is Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and in this video we're doing a future focus on Construct's layout view. That's this uh, space in the middle here. In a future focus we're going to do a whirlwind tour of some of the features you might not know about in Construct uh, because Construct's very simple and easy to use uh, but has loads of powerful features that you may not be familiar with. Let's jump in and show off uh, first of all the basics. So I've got an image file here, I can just drag and drop that in and I've uh, already got a sprite object here. Of course these can be resized, moved around and rotated. You can hold down control or copy and paste to make a bunch of copies. Uh, we call these instances and these all have individual properties so you can see how one can be rotated and the others remain the same. And this also applies to instance variables, behaviors, and effects, uh, which can all have their own individual properties per instance, which lets you set up your level initial state just as you like. So for example, here you can see that I'm setting an individual hue rotation effect for each individual instance here. You can also select all the instances and make a change to them all at the same time. So you can have it both ways, individual properties or set them all the same. Another useful feature is the templates feature. So if I add back the uh, adjust HSL effect, uh, this lets you quickly make updates across the entire project. It's quite a new feature. So I'm going to make a template, this instance here, a template called pig. I'm going to make this one a replica of the template pig. And that means it will copy its properties and I'm just going to copy the replica a couple of times to show how it works and now I can rotate this and all the replicas rotate as well and I can also adjust the effect and that also applies to all the replicas. So that gives you a way to quickly update the properties of instances all across the project. Okay let's move on. Let's talk about layers now. Layers are a good way to organize uh, different aspects of your game. Uh, they're like sheets of glass which you paint different content onto. So here we've got the ghost shooter template set up with the background. Uh, there's a main layer and there's also a UI layer and you can mix and match. You can lock a layer so it's not selectable anymore and uh, hide others and uh, do all the editing you want more easily. Now there's also sub layers which are a, mu a more advanced feature so this allows you to organize layers into uh, as if they're folders um, but it's more powerful than that because you can also apply effects to a layer and it will also affect all the sub layers and just to show what's possible with this we've got a lighting layer there with three sub layers there's a main layer which is the main content of the game with two sub layers and all together it looks like this so there's three multicolor lights there with um, each casting their own shadows around the shadow casters. That's also a very powerful feature. We've got a blog post covering that in more detail if you want to find out more. The layout view also includes whoops, a um, full tile map editor. Uh, so you can easily uh, take um, tile maps and throw in some tiles. And it's also got support for auto tiling. So here there's a brush for the water and instead of having to get all those corner tiles just right you can just drag around and it will automatically set up those tiles for you. There's the tile map brush editor which has support for uh, 16 tile brushes and 47 tile brushes. So this lets you really quickly set up uh, tile based level designs. You can also use auto tiling at runtime to make updates in your game easier as well. Next up, there are some 3D features in the layout view. Uh, so we've got the 3D shape object. You can drop that into a layout. And as you move around in the layout, you can see it's got a 3D appearance. And you can throw in a few of these and make one taller. And you can see the effect more easily there of how it looks 3D. So this lets you very quickly get a 3D appearance for your game, which opens up all sorts of new art styles. And let's see what you can do with that. Here's a 3D platform uh, game which just uses 3D shapes for the platforms and now when you preview the project you've very quickly got a nice 3D appearance for an otherwise 2D platformer so that's a fun feature to play with. 
Um, let's move on to another one. There's also mesh distortion. This lets you take an object like a sprite and break it up into a mesh. So let's create a 4x4 mesh for this sprite here. And now it's got points which you can move around to distort the appearance of the sprite. So this lets you do more kinds of interesting visual effects, including um, changing the collision polygon for this shape. Uh, so you can use it for level design as well. And that's how it looks. And just to quickly demonstrate what's possible with this kind of future, um, here's an example using the mesh distortion for some platforms. So uh, your platform can platform behavior can move along those uh, mesh features with the um, collision updated, as I mentioned earlier. And you can, of course, make some quick changes to this and see how that affects the game. And last but not least, let's talk about live previews. So this is like a particle editor built right into the layout view. So I've got a particles object here, and in the properties bar, I can tick preview, and it starts running the particles effect right away inside the layout view. And here are properties where, which I can change and instantly see feedback on how that looks inside the layout view. So I don't need to keep repeatedly previewing the project. I can just uh, get my properties right here in the layout view and play with them and get them all just as I like. And there are lots of particles. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. There's loads more uh, to construct. Um, we've just covered the layout view, which is your main level design tool here in the middle. Uh, I've glossed over a lot of features like wrapped selections, keyboard shortcuts, and more. There's loads you can do with the layout view. As with Construct, it's very easy to get into. If you can make a presentation, you can make a game with your level design features. It's that easy. Uh, but there's really powerful and advanced features there which will keep you entertained for a very long time to come. So if you didn't know about all of those features, give them a go now. Try Construct today, and there'll be lots more information in the video description. Thanks.